Welcome to TechGuru, where innovation meets imagination. Explore Arduino, ESP32, Raspberry Pi, STM32, and more, all in one place. Learn, build, innovate with Kitnatiyas with TechGuru. Subscribe now and join the future of tech learning. Hi everyone. Today we'll learn a new software. It's a for it's used for the digital circuit to design a digital circuit or checking the output. So if those uh, don't have the uh, like hardware part, they can easily use this software for the simulation purpose. Like how uh, gates working. Like in this software, you can learn lots of like all the logic gates, adder, substructor, ILU, counter, CMOS, everything you can learn. So how to I'll show the how to download the software. So basically the software is a free version. Uh, anyone can download the software. So the software name is DSCH. So basically DSCH is known as the digital semantic. So light 3.5. So it's a free version. Anyone can download. <clears throat> so after search this thing, you can uh, check the fast line. You have to click the fast line. After click on the fast line, you have to click on this download button. When you click on the download button uh, here showing that the download now you have to click the download now then after click on the download now it will take some time to download this thing uh, after one to two minutes it will start the downloading now it's downloading is going on so after that you have to install this thing so installation is also not that much tough you have to normally click on the next next no or that much tough for the installation purpose so like it's already i have already the dsa software so that's why it's showing that uh, already installed so so it's a simple thing just you have to click on the next next then it will be installed so basically this one is the so dsa software so dsa i already told digital semantic this software you can use for the any digital gate level design so semantic level design so this one is the interface of this software so in this interface this one is the symbol library in symbol library already we have like for the input purpose like this one is for the input purpose we are using this one is the ground power clock for output purpose we are using led then also segment is there there you can display any number and all the logic gate pmos is there nmos is there so everything is there mocks also there so every circuits like every levels design every gates are there so this one is the symbol library in the there is two section like basic section and advanced section basic section already we have something then advanced section also we have lots of devices so if you are facing like this symbol library is not there in your screen so you have to click this uh, the here so a symbol library when you click this one it will be appear so these are the some options you like file upon this one is for the select purpose so if you want to some, select something then you have to select this one this gun option is for the kill clear purpose you have to click this option is for the clearing the devices okay. if you want to delete some something then you can option this one this uh, gun and uh, other copy is there move is there right left if you want to add some text then you have to click on the add option this this one is for the add line so add line means like this so here if you what is the option of this one so basically if i have two line like this but this two is not connected here this is two is the overlap so if you want to connect if you don't want to connect then leave as it is but if you want to connect these two so you have to use this line the connector so if you click this one and you have to click here then that means it's showing that it's connected so you can uh, zoom and zoom in and zoom out option is there this option is for the simulation to so start the simulation this one for the timing diagram whatever you are getting the output you can get also in a uh, like a uh, uh, graphical representation also there for this all but all if you click the all now whatever circuit you are designing in this software everything will be appear here only the recent uh, like a recent whatever you are design so now i will show you how to design in the software so basically it's a drag and drop so i'll show you the and get operation like this one is the and ic uh, sorry and get so for the input we need to so you can drag this one this two so drag and drop whatever you want where you want to put you can for the output purpose i am taking a led 
for the input here some name is there in2 in3 out2 so here i you can if you want to change the name you can change like double click on it in in2 you can change like a for the our this one i am checking that b for the output i have given the name is y so here also one thing uh, you can change the color also whatever you want you can change the color so now after that we have to connect this for the connect proper already i told you this one is the line so if the line if you click you have to click the line then remember one thing you have to connect the node to node so these the, these two are node so you have to connect these two for the connection you have to click and drag and drop in the other location so you have to click here and connect here it will be automatically connected so now it's connected so basically here i am designing the semantic so every programming every whatever you are designing some have will like different different extension is there so like for python programming for c programming any type of programming whatever you are doing so there some extension is there here also i am designing the semantic so the file name is the uh, like the extension is dot sch dot sch is the known, known as the semantic design so first you have to click on file save as so save as after save as you have to save your file so i am saving that uh, and uh, underscore gt so already it by default it will take in dot sch then you have to click on save so remember one thing you have to save in your own folder so already there i have saved d colon and gt dot sch already it saved so after that uh you have to start the simulation for the simulation purpose you have to simply click the run button so after run button <coughs> we have to check this here these are the black blank means non red zero so now zero zero means output zero zero one is zero like one zero zero because we know that when both inputs are high uh, then that time output also high so one one it's on so like this you can check the output so if you want the graphical representation like the timing diagram you have to click on the timing diagram and this one like yeah like zero one zero when zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 like this you can check the data and one thing remember one thing when you start the simulation that time don't edit anything don't edit anything if you want to edit something then first you have to stop this simulation so either you can stop here also or otherwise you can click on stop here also anyhow but after stop the like after stop the the simulation after that you have to design but running the when you the simulation is going on don't edit anything if you do the same thing in the sim if we want to ch uh, edit something in the simulation time that time uh, it's showing that uh, software is corrupted so like that uh, so remember this thing for the this uh, software having the, the, uh, the one demerit is this one when you are doing something in the running time it will show uh, like it's showing that uh, it's uh, corrupted so thank you for this if uh, you need any help you can uh, comment there i'll uh, reply back thank you